Hey guys, it's Touchy2201, and I'm bringing you a team with my mono normal team. A battle. Fail. At the very beginning. Man, this is going good. So yeah, I hope you guys remember my mono normal team, because I haven't used it in a while, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So, we're at the Main Street Coliseum, and don't worry, the brightness goes down as of right now. So, this guy has Steel Types, plus a Lucario. So, this match looks pretty screwed for me at the start-up. It's just because he uses Lucario and Empoleon. But, you'll see. No spoilers. So, he goes for Aura Sphere, and Regigigas takes a ton of damage, but Regigigas isn't meant to stay alive very long, so yeah. And this is a Japanese Regigigas from Wi-Fi with my DS and Wi-Fi work. So yeah, it was an event Regigigas from Japan, so yeah. Pulling goes for Ice Beam, does barely nothing. Now Lucario is paralyzed because that is Regigigas' job, to paralyze to start out too, if he can. Well, he pretty much can with his move set that I gave him, so yeah. So Snorlax goes for Stockpile, and I hope you know which team this is based off of, because this team is just as good as that. Snorlax is hit with another Ice Beam, and he's like, what was that? And Regigigas goes for Thunder Wave, is like, I'll make him slower for you, buddy. Don't worry about it. No, wait, Snorlax is a girl, that's right. I forgot. This is Big Mom out of Snorlax. I forgot. And I think it, uh, I don't know what Regigigas' name says, because I can't quite read it. It's like, I think it's just the Japanese version of Regigigas, so, yeah. So, Aurasphere, he breaks through paralysis, gets Aurasphere off, and Regigigas is sadly dead. But he did his job, so... It's all good. So then I send out Miltank. You remember Whitney's Miltank from the game. If it was like this, I think people might cry in game. I think people might quit Pokemon if Whitney's Miltank was paired up with a Snorlax like this in game. People might cry and people might stop playing Pokemon. So Snorlax, I figure do another stockpile and sorry if you can see the lag, but I don't know. This might be just Movie Maker going crazy. I don't know. So Aura Sphere does nothing to Miltank just because of of uh, Psych Up. And, well, it did less than I thought it would, so yeah. So Miltank recovers with lefties, and I use Milk Drink. Just imagine if Miltank was like this with in-game. Uh, people would quit. So Snorlax, I took a gamble here, and I was hoping for Paralysis, so I did Belly Drum. And guess what? I got the Paralysis on Lucario, but... And Polaron goes for Steel Wing for some reason. And it still doesn't kill Snorlax. So I, was, I started to laugh. Because he got the defense raise. Which probably prolonged the match a little more. So Miltank uses Psych Up again. And heals. Well actually just gets his stats up. Snorlax goes for Rock Slide. And this is where Snorlax dies. Not because of an attack. Because of a berry. Lucario had a berry. I forget what it was called, but as soon as I attacked him, Snorlax took damage and killed him. Or her. Damn it. Her. And sorry for that language. But she got the flinch on Lucario. Steadfast goes up. But funny, because I got two, the double flinch, which is great. And now out comes Pink the Wigglytuff, which she is a beast. I don't think I've never seen a set like this on Wigglytuff before. Look at that set. That is just amazing. So I Brick Break to Lucario because it is the bigger threat, obviously. So Brick Break goes off and Miltank rolls into Lucario. And Lucario was like, ah, oh, the weight. I can't take it. And just like, bleh, roadkill. So Lucario is dead and Wigglytuff does her dance and copies uh, Miltank. And Empoleon goes for Hydro Cannon. It hits and Wigglytuff was like, what was that? Honestly, what was that? What did I just get hit with? And I bet he probably like cried at that moment because that was like his best move on his Empoleon. Even though, wait, let me see. Ice Beam, Steel Wing, Hydro Cannon. Yeah, I think that was his best move because I don't think he used a fourth one. So then out comes a Garchomp and I was like, oh great, it's going to do Garchomp stuff. So I go for the return on Garchomp just to see if I can kill it. And I go for the wish with Wigglytuff just because I need to use all four moves for Wigglytuff's best move to be activated. So, Or all three moves. So next move coming up is, you guessed it, Ice Punch. So I actually 
of course, Garchomp goes for Outrage. Wigglytuff got hit, was like, uh, okay. And Cute Charm activates, which really doesn't matter, because Miltank goes up to Garchomp, is like, hey, don't attack my friend, and rolls, and it just kills the Garchomp. And Garchomp was like, the weight, I can't take it. <laughs> Roadkill. So yeah, there's two down, and two to go. The dynamic pink duo is working fine. So I go for Wish, since Empoleon has got to recharge. And yes, I have dual leftovers. It doesn't matter because Wigglytuff, Wigglytuff and Miltank need those because they are, they are walls. They are excellent walls when they get set up. So out comes a Drapion. So I was like, okay, this should not be doing too much. They are both physically defensive monsters. So I thought I was going to go for Brick Break, but I was like, nah. I want to show up Wigglytuff's entire set. And I figured Drapion was faster than Miltank. I just had that little hint that he was faster. So I went for Milk Drink. And I don't know why. I thought I chose the wrong move. So I went back and chose Milk Drink again. Because, you know, yeah, it can't be too sure. So then I go for Ice Punch on the Drapion. Just because I know it won't be that effective on Empoleon. Because it's quad resistant. And yeah, I was right. Drapion was faster, but he went for... Uh, pink because he's she's lower in health doesn't get the poison which is good so Miltank's move was in vain and look at this if this had been Garchomp he would have been dead he would have murder like Wigglytuff would have murderized that thing so now Wish goes off after Apollyon gets paralyzed which is pretty lucky and now they're basically both at full health Wigglytuff is literally three HP off from being at full health. So I go for the return on Drapion just to finish it, and here comes the last resort. Even on a steel type like Empoleon, I didn't think it would do this much damage. It was crazy how much damage this attack did as soon as he picks his move. So yeah, guys, uh, as soon as we, he picks his move, uh, okay. So he goes for Cross Poison again, still hoping for the poison, I would guess. And it does not do that much. I think it literally did around 10 damage. Less than a sonic boom. So Miltank rolls over and bam, hit by return. And Drapion's like, ah, oh, the weight. I can't take it. Ah, oh. roadkill. <laughs> and Wigglytuff goes for last resort. And look at this. And it drains Empoleon down to a tenth of health. I could not believe that when I saw it. I was like, wow. He goes for Ice Beam, hoping for Freeze, but he doesn't get it. So, yeah. He pretty much knows it's over beyond this point. So, in the end, he just gives up. So, I just go for... I'll just speed along here. I just go for the Milk Drink, because I wanted Wigglytuff to finish it, and I went for the last resort. So, yeah, guys. I hope you like my Mono Normal team, and I hope you like my new Wigglytuff. Because this Wigglytuff is freaking awesome. So yeah guys, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.